Actually, is where a documentary is able to give the right facts that are true. The documentary will have to, to have accurate facts. If the facts are made up, the documentary could lose trust in the audience. In this example of accuracy, you see Peter Snow talking about the 20th century battle and all the facts that he's telling you are very accurate and none of them will lie. So the viewers will be engaged at all times because the facts you're seeing will be will help you out and teach some knowledge about the war. Madness is where a documentary of two sides of the story and all the points will be equal. A documentary has to be balanced throughout, otherwise it could be an untrustworthy documentary and the audience won't trust it. In this example for balance, you see Trevor McDonald talking to one of the heads from Death Row and you can see that he is getting points of view from the person in charge and also his own points of view. So you can see both sides of the story, whether they are positive or negative. So throughout the documentary should be balanced. Impartially, also known as even handness, is where the documentary is fair and not biased with facts and points. The documentary will be full of fair and non-biased facts. If the document does this, it will be impartial. But if it doesn't, it can make the audience not trust the, f the facts, meaning that a documentary is untrustworthy. In this example for impartiality, you see Reggie Yates talking to white people that have now been put into slums. You can see that he's talking from <coughs> points, two points of view here. He can see how the white people are now being treated and also how the black people are being treated. Re Reggie Yates uses impartiality in this documentary very well because it is all fair rather than being biased. Objectivity and subjectivity. Objectivity is where a documentary will not be biased, it will make judgments through facts alone. If a documentary is objective, it will only make judgments through facts. This will help the audience have a rough idea of what's happening in the documentary. In this example of objectivity, you see serial killer Edmund Kemper, who has been charged for, ma charged for manslaughter and how he's been, been put on deathbed. This is this example is objectivated very well because it talks all about Edmund Kemper and the facts of why he should be killed instead of being kept alive because the things he did were very horrible. Subjectivity. Subjectivity is where a documentary has many different perspectives from loads of people throughout the documentary. If a doc if a documentary is subjective, it will give the audience many different views from loads of people, so the story can be unreliable, meaning the documentary could be unreliable as well. In this example of subjectivity, you see many footballing stars talk about Sol Campbell, and this is a good documentary because you get to see loads of different points of view, and some of these are fair and some of these are not, so the documentary keeps you engaged at all time because you hear loads of different points of view. Opinion is where a documentary allows a presenter to give his own points of view. Opinion is used in a documentary so you as the audience can hear different sides of the story. Also opinions can make the doc documentary feel real. Also gives the audience a chance to give their opinion as well. In this example for opinion, you see someone performing a song on The Voice and you also see the reaction of Kylie Minogue where she's saying, wow, lovely. This shows her opinion of the, of the voice that is singing because she can't see so she's given her opinion verbally. Bias is where a documentary will play with one side of the story while giving up. Bias is used in a documentary so the audience will be drawn to one side of the story. This can make the audience feel that the documentary is unfair because it is biased. In this example for bias, you see people that own a cannabis farm and you see how they are treating it and how they are very biased because they grow it themselves. They don't want to let people in who will destroy it so they are very biased and strong with the words they say. Representation is where a documentary presents facts towards us as viewers. If the facts aren't represented well, then the audience won't relate to the documentary and the audience won't trust the documentary as well because the facts cannot be represented very well. In the example for representation, you see footage from the 9-11 where you can see inside the airport box up top where you can hear um, two people talking and how what they predicted was going to happen. This is a good representation of facts because we didn't know this until the documentary came out. So the facts were well represented. 
Access versus privacy. Access is where a documentary will get access into a story with confirmation from someone. Access will give the audience a full insight to the story and this will show the audience to trust the documentary. In this, in this example for Access, we see Mourinho t talking to his team that he was running. This is a good example for Access because we, are, we have been allowed access to see how Mourinho does his, does his thing on the football pitch and also inside the changing rooms. This is very engaging for the audience because you usually don't get to see this footage. Privacy. Privacy is where a documentary doesn't intrude on something it shouldn't. Privacy can, can get a hidden insight to a story and things you see may be horrible. This will keep the audience engaged at all times because the footage they are filming is not actually allowed to be filmed. In this example for privacy, you see secret footage filmed by someone filming in North Korea and how people are treated very badly. This is good for the audience because audience don't usually get to see this type of footage unless someone films it by camera. Contract with viewer. Contract with viewer is where a documentary will be produced by a producer and it will be made with 100% real facts and it will appeal to audience at all times because the audience will learn new things every minute throughout the documentary. The documentary will have to be ev will have to be everything it is made out to be. If it isn't, the audience won't trust or rely on the documentary anymore because the facts being told may not be right or what you see may not be right. So the, docu the documentary has to be trustworthy with the audience at all times. In this example for Contract with Viewer, you see two people living up in space. The documentary that you can see here is known for teaching you how to live in sp how people live in space and everything they do. The documentary, uh, the contract with a viewer works very well with here because what you see is what what you hear, what you find out is what you will see. So the audience will be able to learn things because the contract because the contract with a viewer is very accurate.